So I promised my channel we'll start talking about something other than FSR 2.0 at some point, but in comments on the video I just made going into detail on what it is and all how it works and all of that, I started seeing comments saying, did you see the God of War update today? It added FSR 2.0, but FSR 2.0 is not supposed to be out yet. AMD just released a bunch of information about it, but you can see a screenshot behind me right now. That is indeed FSR 2.0, at least, that's what it says. But is it really FSR 2.0? Because I looked carefully at the patch notes for this. There is no mention of this being FSR 2.0 or there being any changes to FSR or any of the render scaling. Although they did mention working on some uh, culling stuff that should help some of the AMD performance issues. Uh, in certain scenes. So, hey, that's good, I guess. I haven't been able to test that out yet for myself, but I did actually test out some of this FSR 2.0, 2, 2.0, because I have my doubts. Now, why do I have doubts about this really being FSR 2.0? Well, for one thing, I literally just did a video talking about what AMD said is required in order to do this. So for one thing, they were very specific that FSR supports DX12, and we're talking FSR 2.0 supports DX12, Vulkan will come later, and let's go back to my screenshot here. Do you notice the D3D11 in the top corner? D3D11 means that God of War is running on DirectX 11, not 12. That's my first reason why I don't think this is actually FSR 2.0. <laughs> my next reason, oh wait, I, I was gonna do my snappy finger thing, but I was almost clicked the wrong button, is that, well, I mean, this isn't supposed to be out yet, <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, and, other reasons. Um, <laughs> well, FSR 2.0 is supposed to be using, you know, the depth buffer, the motion vector buffer, the color buffer, all of that. Um, and so I'm going to do some side-by-side -side comparisons here, and I just don't see the signs that this is anything other than a spatial upscaler currently happening. So uh, the... <laughs> It's just so weird that this would happen today. Like today, when FSR 2.0 is getting its big full reveal, that they would put this in that update. Is, is somebody at, at the, one of the God of War developers just having fun with us? I don't know, guys. <laughs> but here's the, here's the slide I was looking for. The other reason I thought that this might be a bit of a uh, ah thing is that FSR 2.0 is supposed to have these specific quality modes. So quality, balanced performance, and the optional ultra performance mode. Now that isn't to say that a developer couldn't use other ones, like have an ultra quality, which uses 77% screen resolution instead of the 67% of quality. But it is clear that AMD did, didn't like, you know, <laughs> Uh, list that as one of the main options. Now, the reason why I don't think that they're doing that is because what they've said here. This is the frame time that it takes, the upper bound to frame time for a performance overhead of adding FSR to a scene. It's less than 1.1 milliseconds, but the point is that's a lot higher than FSR 1.0 which means that you need to lower the render resolution enough to actually make up enough of a performance gain to still get a performance boost from using FSR 2.0. So having it at a uh, closer to native resolution might not be gaining you enough performance to actually be worthwhile. I think that's what's going on there. Which means now, let me start running some of my uh, footage here in, in editing. I noticed the exact same performance jump from enabling FSR ultra quality as I did from back when it was the 1.0 version. Now, unfortunately, I no longer actually have the original files 
from my 1.0 testing, I've since then bought an eight terabyte uh, SSD for, for more storage. So I can hopefully stop having to delete videos on the channel so I could use them in situations like this. But I didn't have a backup copy of that. But looking back at my YouTube video for just performance comparisons rather than image quality comparisons, this is about the same performance boost we saw, which actually shouldn't be happening if this is really running at the ultra quality mode because of the increased overhead from FSR 2.0. Now, the ultra quality at 4K still looked pretty good in FSR 1.0, but if we then jump down and look at the quality setting, and on my 4K screen, this is more apparent to me, but I'll, I'll, I'm sure I can do a zoom in and editing here for you guys at home who don't have 4K screens. Um, I do definitely start to see a drop in quality going down to the quality setting. Whereas with this FSR 2.0, now granted I haven't had hands-on, but in AMD's demonstrations, the quality preset at 4K still looks extremely close to native. And I would say at least in their footage they've released, it looks closer to native than what we're seeing here. And this looks like what I remember the quality setting look like in my initial testing. So going down to balanced, we're really starting to see a, a significant difference compared to the native resolution. And then going down to the performance mode, it's, it looks kind of bad. I mean, it's 1080p being spatially upscaled. And I'm gonna call it here, guys. This is still a spatial upscaler. This is still FSR 1.0. And if we do side-by-side -side comparis comparisons with DLSS, which honestly, FSR 2.0, whether or not it, it ends up being exactly as good as DLSS, I, I really don't see it being uh, as bad as what we're seeing here, if I if I actually run some comparisons in side by side, where the the DLSS upscale of 1080p to 4K is just significantly better than what we're seeing from this FSR quotation marks 2.0 <laughs> that the God of War menu is claiming. So yeah, I'm gonna say that <laughs> somebody over there at the God of War developers just did something silly here. Now, what do I think this might actually mean? Well, for one thing, it actually does make me question whether or not the God of War developers are actually working on an FSR 2.0 implementation, despite the fact that the game runs on DX11. I know AMD, like I, like I said here, uh, are, are saying that this is definitely DX12 and then Vulcan expected later. But I wonder if developers could get their hands on, and again, this is open source, if they get their hands on this code, if they could still find a way to make it work on a DX11 game, especially because that DX11 game already works with DLSS. So we also have this information, right? Which is that games that already support DLSS 2. Point whatever should be within three days of work, according to AMD, able to implement FSR 2.0. So the DLSS uh, information, basically DLSS gets this depth buffer, motion vector buffer, and color buffer uh, data to then you know run its magic on, just like FSR 2.0. I, I think that maybe then games that aren't DX12 who can offer up this information could still maybe make it work. And maybe that's happening over with the God of War devs and somebody accidentally somehow let the, the let that string get updated before the actual tech in the game got updated. At least I'm gonna assume that's what what's happening here. If this really is FSR 2.0, then it looks suspiciously like 1.0, and that's not at all what AMD's demonstration videos looked like to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here, guys. Don't get too excited. Somebody accidentally typed in a two. Oh, well, I'm hoping it was an accident <laughs> over with the God of War devs. I hope all of you have an excellent day.